So this is it. Last chance. Can't even believe it's a reality. California has put a ban on anything that is gas powered and going all electric. The stories are true. They said by 2035, they wanted all electric vehicles on the road. I don't know how true that's going to be, but if they can do it to two strokes, they can most certainly do it to full size engines. So just wild to me. There wasn't much left. A couple weed eaters, maybe one or two chainsaws. Discounted, but not by much. You can see here, I'm just kind of probing and looking at how much the electrical stuff goes. It's just causing me nothing but just like, what the F? Looking at ladders, looking at mastic, trying to get an idea of what the prices are on this stuff. It's been a little while. Like I said, I've fired up my old roofing business again. I know I'm also trying to do a mechanic thing. I'm not always going to be busy doing one thing. Once upon a time ago, I had like four different gigs going on at the same exact time. Right now, I'm just sticking with roofing and the mobile mechanic deal and running it. Um, so yeah, I'm looking at bags. I'm looking at tools. I'm looking at some other things. Some of the stuff I have, some of the stuff I don't. Over the years, I got rid of quite a bit of this stuff. So I'm checking out some of these flat bars, kind of eyeing them. I like the Vaughn and I like the DeWalt. Is the Stanley a little cheaper? Yeah, it doesn't have the curvature or the width like the DeWalt does. And the DeWalt didn't exactly have the curvature or the length that the Vaughn had. Vaughn's always been a pretty go-to for me, but I don't mind the DeWalt. You can see the length difference here too. I'm just kind of getting an idea. So if I was to buy one, I'd pay the 15 bucks and get the Vaughn. That's kind of where I was at with this. But nothing picked up today. Put them all back again. We're not really buying anything at this moment. I'm just kind of perusing, shopping, trying to get ideas. Where are the Vaughn hammers? They got rid of all of them. It's pretty much Husky and some Wood Ones and Milwaukee and DeWalt at this point. Chalk line, going to need that. I do have a level, so we're good with that for right now. But chalk line, yeah, I don't have that. So I'm just kind of looking around. Tape measure. I've got that, but I'd like a better one. A 100-foot one would be better and more ideal. I used to have one. I don't anymore. Looking at some cordless stuff too. I got rid of all my cordless stuff for the exception of a couple things. I did keep some DeWalt batteries, but yeah, it hurt to let all those things go for sure. I mean, that's probably the one thing I do regret. As many uh, mechanic tools as I sold, my biggest tool selling regret was getting rid of all my DeWalt stuff for sure. I really had a nice lineup. I very much was happy with it and well, play the game. Also going to need some diamond blades at some point and an angle grinder or cutoff wheel to cut tile since I'm doing a tile roof right now. John already has one. Don't need to worry about that. Sawzall, definitely cheaper to go with the 110 instead of cordless. So I'm just looking at some of my options, jigsaws, etc. Man, it is just a sad reality that that is exactly the direction that California is going. They are getting rid of two stroke anything anything that requires fuel to include household generators builder supply has already liquidated their entire steel lineup looks like home depot is doing the same with echo and i'm sorry for all the noises i got a big old jug of water here in the front crushing cans from the floorboard all right back here at my buddy's house it's roofing day baby so we took all the tile off this side all these shingles have to come up eventually probably not going to be today all the tiles up over there this is probably gonna stay there these upper ones as soon as I get this top layer of ridgeline paper undone we're gonna stack one row all the way down and then as far as over here because while we have the skid steer we're gonna try to take as many of these tiles as we can put them on the pallets Get them off the roof. Kind of a windy day. Don't know how much paper we're going to rip off. I do want to finish the rest of this bridge line as far as taking the paper off. But we're close. All right. Nice half day worth of work. Pretty much called it at about 1 o'clock or so. Um, 1.30. I think it was like 1.30. But got a pretty good chunk done today. A lot of people kind of concerned about the direction and process, rules, regulations, permits, insurance, etc. with this newfound um, business that I'm trying to start with roof. And look, guys, I did this business before, and I already know that labor and material can't exceed $500, so I always kept it at $499. And I'll tell you, most of the jobs I did was anywhere between 
80 and maybe 120 bucks for any one particular job. This job is a full scale roof. Obviously, that would be something that I would not be able to just tackle on my own um, without having a contractor's license, permits, insurance, workers comp, etc., etc. This is my best friend's house, and instead of him shelling out thirty-eight to forty-two thousand dollars to pay professional roofers to do it, he's going through the county. He's got the proper permits. Once we get this thing stripped bare, they'll come out and inspect the roof, mark the OSB boards that need to be pulled and swapped out. We'll go back through it, it'll be reinspected. Then we start uh, laying down our ice and water paper. We start laying down the felt, get it all lined up pretty. And then we start, start running tile and getting it set up. He's also gonna be doing solar. So we have to have the solar jacks. That all has to be inspected too. He's taking the DIY approach to save himself 40K. Look, and I'm a little bit back and strapped right still looking for full-time work on indeed just until my stuff kind of gets up and going uh, i would be interested later down the road in getting my contractor's license but that's all down the road for right now i don't mind taking on the small jobs here and there you know what i mean so we're just gonna play it by ear see how it goes and uh you know hopefully it business picks up if it starts picking up to the point where I'm making enough money to do some of the smaller jobs. Absolutely. Here's something else that you guys don't know about. My uncle, who lives down the hill, they are a fully contracted roofing company. Anytime I've ever had a big job, straight up, if I wanted in on it, I would call them. They would come and tackle the big job, and I'd get paid a little bit better than a laborer. Okay, so And I'm okay with that because I'm still on board. That gives me a couple weeks to almost, you know, anywhere between one and two weeks of the work. No problem, depending on what how big the job is. So, it's all good, man. You guys worry too much. Really, don't stress it, okay? We're not out here doing tile roofs and shingle roofs at the full scale. If that was the case, do you know how happy and excited and ecstatic I'd be right now? I go, I come home straight from Oregon and I land a job where it's $40,000 in labor alone. Are you kidding me? Do you know how, oh, I'd be, I'd be jacked, bro. I'd be so jacked. I'd be singing and dancing and be like, we made it to the big times. You know what I mean? Like straight up. His cheapest bid was like 38.5 and the highest bid was like 42.5. If I would have taken the bid on the low side at 38,000, oh man, I'd say, yeah, give me about three weeks to a month and I could start it. I'd hightail it down, go freaking get my license, pay for the insurance, get the whole thing set up, you know what I mean, and get this puppy rolling. But yep, I'll be over at your house in about a month, month and a half. Boom, 40 grand. God dang, I'd have me a new truck. I'd be sitting here doing the freaking moonwalk, the truffle shuffle. I'd be doing it all, man. Jesus, are you kidding me? Come on. All right, but at any rate, that's all I got for this video. I'm a little bit disheartened that California is getting rid of all the gas stuff and that I'd have to go to Arizona or Nevada in order to purchase it like all the other Californians or go battery. So that part, that part kind of bummed me out today. Um, but otherwise, I'm just trying to relax. It's my daughter's birthday. We're done for the day. That's all I got. So we'll see you guys next time. Cheers and deuces.